there everybody, it is Tegan here again today, and uh, today I am going to be doing a review on the fifth episode of Shadowhunters. Wow, it's already the fifth episode, it's been five weeks since this show started, wow. And the show has come so far. I, I started off not liking the show at all, like I did not think that the show was going to go anywhere. And it did take me a couple of episodes to get into the show, but now five episodes in and I am loving it. It makes me really sad when people are saying, oh, the show is so horrible, oh, I, like, they've completely messed up the books, and although it's not the best book to movie adaptation at all, like, it's, it's not at all the best, like, it's not even close to being the best, but it is good. It's better than Percy Jackson, and it's better than what I'm guessing Allegiant is going to be like. So I mean, yeah, I am giving it a chance, and I wish other people would give this show a chance as well, because it is getting better episode by episode. Like this show is improving so much, and if people don't give it a chance, then there's not going to be a second season, and I feel like just the difference between a first and a second season would be so like drastic that it would pull everybody in, and I just want to see my favorite characters advance throughout the books. So please, if you haven't given Shadowhunters a chance yet, then definitely go and do so, because it is good, and the acting may be not very good at times, but then a lot of the time it's not that horrible. And so, yeah, just go give it a chance if you haven't yet. Even if you haven't read the Mortal Instruments series, still go give it a chance. I, I just, I just really want you to at least give it a chance. And if you don't like it after watching the first couple of episodes, then that's perfectly fine. You don't like it, but just at least give it a chance. So today I am going to be talking about episode number five of Shadowhunters, and this episode was... There were a couple of Malik moments, definitely not as many as in the last episode because you guys know if you watch my uh, episode four review you would know that this show Oh, that episode, whoa, I'm Malik, I was flipping out about it. But I do have notes once again on my phone that I took while watching the episode. So that is what I will be going off of today. And I'm hoping, I'm gonna try and make this video slightly shorter because my last video was 40 minutes long and <laughs> that's really long for a video. So I'm gonna try and not talk as much about this video, about this episode, but I mean, I can't make any promises because there might be a lot of fangirling coming from me about this episode. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go through the entire episode, I'm just gonna go through a few key points that I really liked about the episode, so if you, if you haven't watched it yet, then leave, go watch it, and then come back and we can discuss. If you have watched it, then stay, we can discuss it together and it will be awesome. So one of the first points that I want to talk about is, I can't remember her name, but Isabel and Alex's mom comes to the institute and they're talking about Max and the mom is super, super strict and it's just, whoa. And like, really super strict, especially towards Alec. And that's just awful. <laughs> it's awful. But she gives them all sort of things that they have to do. And so Alex is to stay behind and look after Clary. And Isabel and Jace are meant to go talk to Milliorn because the Seelys have stopped talking to the Clave and so they have to like get that all worked out. So that's what their jobs are. So Clary has a dream about Valentine and her mother and she's completely freaking out about it and then she ends up drawing Valentine because she remembers what Valentine looked like and then she crumbles out the paper and throws it across the room. 
Oh, and this next part. Oh my god, this next part. Oh, 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 this next part. I, I was not able to deal with my emotions during this part of the episode. <sighs> when Alec goes up to Jace and he's trying to, like, explain about what happened in the room with the memory demon. And... And he's like, I'm sorry. And Jace is like, what? You love me? I love you too. And Alec's like, wait, what? And he's like, and Jace goes, well, we're pair of a tie. We love each other. And, oh, Alec. Alec's face was just like, oh. Because Alec, like, actually loves him. Like, like, love loves him. And Jace just loves him like a brother. And it's sad. But I mean, Malik. So it's not that sad, but it is still really sad. Simon. So the shot then goes over to Simon, and Simon has gone to uh, Hotel Dumont or Dumont Hotel or whatever it is to speak with the vampires. And Raphael comes out and he's like, "What are you doing here? You should not be here. What are you doing here? I let you go. I'm not going to be letting you go again." And Simon like doesn't really say anything for a minute, and then Raphael like takes out his like vampire fangs and then Simon runs away and oh because Simon's turning into a vampire <sighs> so many things so many things are happening oh so many things are happening <laughs> we then go back to the institute with Alec and Clary because Jason and Isabel have gone off to talk to Milliorn and Alec is teaching Clary how to fight and it is so amazing because Oh, it, no, it's, no, I, because Jace told, Jace told Alec to take care of Clary, and Clary's, like, trying to become friends with Alec, and, mm, Alec's teaching Clary how to fight, and it's amazing, <laughs> amazing, that's all I can say about it, it's amazing. So, ooh, Alec gets a call while he's fighting with Clary, and he gets a call, and he answers it, and while he's talking on the phone, Clary ends up running away, because she wants to go to her house, to the loft, to look for the box with the um, JC on it, but... Before Alec wouldn't let her go, but she really wanted to because she thought it ha might have something in there about the mortal cup and stuff. But so she runs away while Alec's distracted on the phone, and the call is from Magnus. So Alec is talking on the phone to Magnus, and Magnus goes, "Oh, so I noticed you the other night. Um, would you like to possibly go and get like a coffee sometime or something?" And Alex says yes. Whoa. Oh, 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 no. Magnus asked Alec out and Alex said yes. Uh. I, I, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Malik is my, like, one of my top OTPs and oh my god but pure brilliantness just just amazing it was it was amazing <laughs> so Clary has run away and she ends up walking past her old art school and Alec catches up with her and as they're about to walk to the loft because they're already outside so Alec's like oh yeah okay well it's not like that but he's like oh, oh, oh fine and clary turns around and says it must be hard being in love with jace if he's straight and alec denies it but we all know he's in love with jace and <sighs> i swear this show is just trying to Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. 
And Alex's comeback is, oh, you're in love with Jace. And then Claire goes, oh, nice middle schooler response there, Alec. <sighs> okay, and then they go to the loft and they find the box. And inside of it is, like, stuff that she's not exactly sure what's inside of it. <sighs> and then Alec hears a noise. And so Alec runs away and he's he's out trying to figure out what the noise was and Simon's there as well and Simon and Clary end up getting kidnapped so they've been kidnapped by what we later find out are werewolves because they want the mortal cup and Alex not there because he's out trying to find out what this other noise was <sighs> <laughs> so Clary and Simon are kidnapped and taken in with the werewolves so in when they're kidnapped by the werewolves Simon is taken into one room and Clary is in another room because Clary's not telling them where the mortal cup is and they're like oh if you don't tell us where the mortal cup is we'll hurt your friend and she's like fine, fine, fine. This was after a few minutes of like debating and stuff. And she's like, fine, fine, fine. I'll tell you where it is. And she ends up telling them it's under the loose floorboard in her room, which is where the box was. So there's not going to be anything there. And then it flips to Simon in the room and he's hanging upside down again, like he was when the vampires found them. So it's like vampires and werewolves. It was awesome. But he has super strength and he breaks free of, oh, he breaks free of the chains that he's like locked up in and then he ends up starting a fire and <laughs> that sends everybody out of the building which means that Simon and Clary get away and Simon had been talking on the phone to Jason all of them and so Jace runs in and he's like, oh, I'm here to save you. And so he saves them. And then they go outside and there's all the werewolves there, including Luke. And Luke runs up to Clary and Clary's like, I want nothing to do with you. And Jace comes over and ends up, ends up punching out Luke. And Clary leaves him there. Huh. And then they end up getting cornered by a whole bunch of werewolves. Hmm. And Luke comes out and kills the alpha of the werewolves, which means that he is now the alpha of the werewolves. And it's like, what? I, mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay. And Luke gets super injured. And so they end up having to be like, oh, we have to take him to Magnus. Oh, oh, they're taking him to Magnus. Oh, which means more Malik moments, which I am, I am perfectly okay with. Any Malik moment that we get, I will be perfectly fine with. <laughs> the very last part of the episode is Isabel turns around to Alec and she asks him if him and Jace are okay. And Alec goes, I don't know. And then the episode ends. Oh, no, it was, oh. No, they have to stay being friends. I can't. So that's it for my like overview of the episode. I'm not gonna go into like one or two more things that I either missed out while talking about that or that I just want to talk about. One thing is that Simon can now see the runes. While they were standing outside the loft, there were a bunch of runes drawn out, and he can see them. And Mondays are not supposed to see him. And Alec was like super suspicious because he's like, "Wait, you can see the runes?" And Simon's like, "Well, yeah, they're kind of hard to miss." Which means he is, oh, he's a downworlder. And one other thing is one that I was kind of like, why? And that is when they're having a werewolf meeting, talking about how they want to get Clary because they need the mortal cup. And one werewolf comes in to the diner that they're in and he has to go behind the uh 
like into the kitchen to transform not really sure I needed it because it looks like he transformed into like full clothing so I mean it was probably just there because of like a low budget or something I that 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 was probably the only point in the episode where I was like oh, oh, oh really Th that need to happen but yeah overall I really really enjoyed this episode Alec is still my all-time favorite character and I don't think that will change he is amazing Matthew Daddario, I'm pretty sure the actor's name is, is an amazing actor and he needs to continue acting amazingly. Oh, and yeah, <laughs> I guess that's like about it for this semi sort of shorter uh, review of Shadowhunters episode 5. It's definitely the shortest one out of the ones I've done so far. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it. You can give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below if you are watching Shadowhunters, what you're thinking about it, what you thought about the last episode, where you think the show is going. Let me know if you think it's going to get any better. All of my social media links are down in the description below. I've got, I've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my blog is down there as well so you can go and check those all out if you are up for it. And you can subscribe down below if you want to be told when I make a new video. I make bookish videos, all sorts of bookish videos, and then I also make fandom videos like this about Shadowhunters, Harry Potter, and Five Sauce. So you can go and check those out if you are feeling up for it. And yeah, you can subscribe if you want to be told when I make a new video. And that is about it. I am Tegan, this is Bookwormia, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ready? It's not, okay, okay. For it, for it. For Take her. my money! <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't have anything funny to do. <laughs>